now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, not every location getting scattered showers today. Most of the activity south and east of Providence, especially along the south shore, is very light and not very significant considering we continue to be in a drought as the uh, yearly rainfall deficit still well below average. What's left of some of those showers now pulling away with an intensifying nor'easter. Big ocean storm, but far enough away so that clearly no impact here today other than the clouds and some scattered light rain showers. So the threat tracker tonight through Wednesday and Thursday, still low level green. It's fairly quiet over the next several days in terms of big precipitation, storms, and things like that. I mean, we'll deal with varying amounts of clouds and at times some patchy fog, but otherwise it's a quiet weather pattern. Cool for now, but there's a warm-up down the road. Temps in the upper 30s to low 40s right now. Certainly cooler today compared to yesterday when we topped out at 55. Gloucester down to 38, New Bedford 43, as well as Westerly. So obviously you want to grab the jackets. It's kind of raw and chilly right now. Smithfield coming in right now with a temperature at 40. Most locations now now range from the upper 30s to the north to low 40s along the south shore, including that 41 in uh, Newport 43 westerly. Storm and a pretty big one intensifying uh, off your screen here, well out to sea east of New England right now, continues to pull away, taking with it a shield of rain and wind, but left behind are some low clouds and cool temperatures, but dry air, so heading out, running some errands and things like that, no precipitation expected. In fact, we'll start off at 7 o'clock this evening, temps up at 30s to low 40s. Any breaks or partial clearing will tend to fill back in with low clouds and even some patchy fog very late tonight towards early tomorrow morning so by 7 a.m. we're near the freezing mark between roughly 32 and 35 clouds little patchy fog sunshine would be limited we'll see a little bit from late morning through early afternoon then the clouds will tend to take back over once again but it's a dry day so no precipitation temperatures topping out you know seasonably cool in the mid 40s heavier clouds arriving by this time tomorrow evening so by later tomorrow night uh, we may see some sprinkles and some very low cloud cover and some fog but the daylight hours of tomorrow it looks dry a little fog early in the morning patchy it will be burning off rapidly to partial sunshine I don't see mostly sunny but rather partly cloudy uh, later in the morning by 11 a.m. 42 then the clouds will tend to fill back in during the afternoon but staying dry temperatures seasonably cool where we should be for this time of year which is essentially in the mid 40s all right seven day future cast that moderation in temperature begins Thursday afternoon look at that and it extends through the weekend. Thursday, not bad. After some clouds and fog very early in the morning, that should burn off. We'll try Thursday one more time. That should burn off to at least partial sunshine uh, the second half of the day. Temperatures running a good 15 degrees above average. Friday, 56, and the weekend unseasonably mild. How much sunshine we get this weekend will determine whether or not, for instance, Sunday is a record breaker with temperatures well into the 60s. But regardless, it's a mild weekend, both Saturday and Sunday. Highs at least upper 50s to near 60. Where's winter? Not yet. We don't need it yet. Yeah. No, we don't. All right, Tony, thanks. And now